Hey, New Jay, what a joy it is to be able to come and communicate with you through this digital space. Hey, this is the first month that I'm going to be doing the State of the Church. This gives me an opportunity to let you know, uh, as the senior pastor of our church, what's going on, what's happening, uh, what has happened. And so I'm so excited to just remind you that while our campus is still physically closed, the church is still open. That's exactly right. New Jerusalem Tulsa is still open and we're still serving the needs of our community and doing ministry in a major way. As a matter of fact, in the area of our outreach, in the month of April, it was an impactful time. We've been able to, in the area of outreach, affect and be a blessing to so many families. We have been a blessing to the Mohawk and Comanche housing apartments. We've also hosted a drive-through uh, feed and feeding initiative where we were able to bless uh, over 800 families that day uh, as we hosted Serve the City. And I'm so excited that we are in partnership with two other of our sister churches on that effort. But then in the area of outreach during the weekend of Easter, what a better weekend to have than Easter weekend to be able to be a blessing to families. Of course, over the past five years, Easter has always been a special weekend for our church because we host uh, amazing fun. And while we weren't able to do amazing fun this year, we were, we were able to provide uh, 200 families with the necessary amount of eggs they would need to host their own Easter egg hunt for their family and also 200 meals for those families. But I wanna thank you, New Jay, because you are an incredibly generous church. You have been so generous to make sure that we're able to continue to make a difference in our community. Let me thank all of our staff and all of our volunteers who helped to make our online presence excellent. As a matter of fact, our staff is working hard to make sure that the music that we present is, also, is powerful, but it's also with excellence. Our sound crew, our tech crew is working to make sure that we're engaging our audience with the highest level of excellence and with the highest level of, of integrity. And uh, we thank God for them. We thank God uh, for them. We could not make a difference in our online presence without so many of our staff and so many of our volunteers making a huge impact. Then, of course, Project Momentum is always a big deal at our church. And let me thank you to our partners who have partnered with us to continue to ensure that our campus is going to be a campus that where God can encounter us, but also where people can be blessed by our campus. We are so grateful that we've been able to continue to make improvements to our physical building. As a matter of fact, we thank God for the gift, uh, the amazing gift, the amazing generosity of the Transformation Church and Pastor Mike Todd. With their gift, we were able to already add new video technology to our, our church and screens and also uh, projectors where we're able to add some major technology in our sanctuary that we're literally able to take the message of New Jay beyond the walls. But we've also increased and increased space in our sanctuary with our stage. And then finally, one of the, one of the um, big renovations I'm excited about is with our church office. Now in our church office, uh, it is new and improved. It has a waiting area. So you're not waiting outside anymore to see me or to see another staff person. And so when you're on our campus again, uh, you'll be excited to see our brand new church office. Then finally, I wanna just kind of talk to you about uh, what we're doing in the area of discipleship for our church. We've already taken uh, our Wednesday connections to a virtual space. As a matter of fact, we're doing everything virtually now. And we praise God for those who get up on Wednesday mornings for our midweek connection to pray with us and to ask God to continue to favor our church and to favor our city and to favor our country and our world. So thank you so much, those who are dialing in at 6.30 a.m. We're also expanding at 7 p.m. Uh, doing our Bible study, the second part of our midweek connection. And we look forward to what God's going to do uh, through uh, our 7 p.m. connection times. And so I want to just talk about what's up the road for New Jay. What does New Jay look like in the month of May? One exciting thing is we're expanding our outreach opportunities. Um, we are hosting Serve the City again uh, on May the 17th, where we look forward to welcoming 1,000 families to our, our, to our campus that weekend uh, to get much needed food. Also, uh, in the month of May, we're looking to host a 21-day prayer 
a time of prayer for our church, that we'll be in intentional prayer. Uh, we'll be asking our church to pray around certain issues. So we're praying for our world. We're praying for our church. We're praying for each other. And we're also praying for our families. And then finally, we're going to begin to roll out some more intentional opportunities so that we can disciple our children better. And of course, I know what the elephant in the room is. I know what the big question is. Pastor, will we be back in worship anytime soon? And let me just say to you, uh, I can't answer that question yet. Until more testing is done and until more science comes out about COVID-19, I think we should err on the side of caution and safety. Let me say to you, friend and family, um, that I'm more concerned about your safety than us meeting in a space currently. Could you imagine us coming together and one of our children contracting this vicious virus, COVID-19? I give you the words I gave to you when I opened up. Um, the men of Issachar, they discerned the times and they knew what to do in Israel. Can I tell you, that's exactly what your pastor's doing. I wanna use wisdom, I wanna use science, I wanna use caution before we come back to worship. But this is what I ask you to do while we're still in a virtual space. I ask you to keep praying, I ask you to keep being generous, and I ask you to remain connected to our church. Keep being the church where people can experience love and encounter family. I leave you with this, friends. I leave you with this. We are New J Strong, and we're built to make a difference in the world. I love you. I can't wait to see you. Keep on praying. God's going to see us through this.